Yo, what's up, everybody? Focus here. Today, we're going to be going over a Battlefield 2042 movement. There isn't a ton of movement or a ton of complexity to the movement in this game, but it really is one of the only skill gaps in the game currently. I get questions almost daily on my live stream about movement and bunny hopping specifically. So we're going to be going over the basics and then we'll get into some complex stuff later. As you can see, I have an on-screen keyboard for you guys. You can use whatever controls you're comfortable with. But just so you guys know, my crouch or slide key is control. So you'll see me use that. And then my jump key is obviously spacebar. And this does work the same way on console or controller, I should say, as well. So first off, I'm just going to show you guys an optimal B-hop. This is without using the grapple hook or anything from McKay. And we'll get into that stuff later. But I just want to show you guys generally what you should be looking for. So as you guys can see, you can get super far with it as long as you do everything correctly. We're going to break it down step by step so you guys can kind of see what I did. So as you can see, I jumped off something to give me momentum. And then I also slide into the first jump to give me even more momentum. And then from there, it's simply just pressing the space bar and not pressing any of your movement keys afterwards. You can also see that after every jump, I'm losing quite a bit of momentum. So I'll slide jump again to reset the loss of momentum and also gain a little bit more all right, so just to go over it with you guys one more time, we'll jump and slide into our first jump. After our third jump, we can slide jump again. And then just repeat that process until you're completely out of momentum. Try to ignore if I'm pressing my number keys in the middle of all this. For some reason, I do that. It's just kind of a timing thing to remind myself when to jump. So now we're going to go over grappling. And this also kind of applies for if you're jumping out of a vehicle that's going very fast. Because you have so much momentum to begin with, you don't actually have to slide jump into your first jump. You can just continue bunny hopping until you see that loss of momentum and then you can choose to slide jump again. So for McKay, you can pretty much grapple off of anything to do this. You just have to make sure that you cancel the grapple before you actually reach the grapple hook. We're only using the grapple to gain momentum and then once you have that momentum, you can just cancel it. For example. You can see how useful this would be in certain situations where you have to rotate super far around the map. Using this movement in general will put you in positions that people really don't expect and will get you a lot of free kills. I go over this in every coaching lesson that I have for a reason. The more comfortable you are with it, the more you'll start seeing yourself in positions that people don't expect and seeing yourself win gunfights that you usually didn't. Last thing we're going to go over in this video is movement and gunfights. More often than not, you'll just see most players AD strafing or just a single strafing to one side or the other. Ideally, especially in these close range situations, you'll want to jump in your gunfights either way to throw off the aim of your opponent. You'll see that I do this in almost every gunfight that I have within a 20 to 40 meter range in this game. You can really punish people that don't have very good aim by just doing this simple thing in your gunfights. I'm going to show some clips here to show how effective that movement can be in gunfights. That's going to be it for this one. If you guys want more videos like this, leave a comment down below. Like the video if you guys have not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.